Okay, we're gonna go over an introduction here on the electric eel sewer camera, 200 foot. First thing we're gonna start by doing is bag attached here, we've got the uh, power cable. There's also an adapter here to plug it into a vehicle if you need to. As the uh, circuit lighter outlet there, we have the uh, plug right there so you can run it off your vehicle if you're out in the field. So we'll plug this in, this part here, into the DC in. Other well, engines into the power, obviously. Start by plugging the camera reel in, down here alongside the camera. And this gets plugged in right to the side of the screen here where it says reel in. It's slotted so it only goes in one way, you kind of feel it out a little bit until it, uh, until it drops in. Then just tighten the collar, uh, just finger tight. Next we'll start by plugging the uh, keyboard in. Okay, everything's plugged in that you need to. Next, we'll start by pressing the power button in the top right corner. The screen will come on and we'll go through its steps. Okay, the next screen you get to shows browse USB stick. You'll need to go to the right, so we'll hit the right arrow button. It says reel in, hit the enter button. And that'll bring up the picture uh, with the camera. Let's give it a moment for that. Okay, now if you can see it real well, but it says reset counter to continue. We'll hit the reset counter button right here. And now it's ready to go. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, for the lights, you can increase the lights up or down, depending on uh, what picture shows best high uh, or uh, lights up the whole way is not always the best picture when you're inside of the pipe. The next thing we'll do, we'll go down here and we'll pull the camera out of the reel. Make sure it goes through this slot in the side of the reel. It feeds out like that and we'll stick it right into our pipe here. Okay. See the inside of the pipe here. We've also gone 6.5 feet. Um, the next thing you can do is you can also lo uh, record uh, what you're locating here that way, or what you're showing your pipe that way your customer can see it. You can start by taking a USB stick. You can use uh, the supplied USB stick or your own. You'll plug it into the slot right here. Uh, you'll give it a few moments for it to come up. It'll notify it here on the screen when it's uh, recognized the USB stick. So we'll just wait for that. the USB stick. Now all you have to do at this point is the red button here is the record button so we'll press that. The red light's on. It's also notifies you in the top right corner the left corner of the screen. To stop the recording you press the stop button. Again it will notify you in the top left corner and the red light goes out. Uh, while you're recording if you want to keep a continuous video you can also use the pause button which will show it up here and that will pause the video, but it will keep it one long video. Uh, the other option you have to do while you're recording is to turn the mic on so you can make voice annotations while you're doing the recording. You'll do that by pressing the pause break button right here. There's a microphone right there. When you press the pause break button again, it goes back to speaker. So that shows you that uh, you're recording. Uh, the last thing that we'll do here is when you're going to use this unit to do locating, um, you will want to turn the sound on so that the locator can pick up the signal from the camera. So in the top corner here, we'll press the sound button. You'll notice it's blinking. Now the camera head is emitting a 512 hertz signal so the locator uh, can pick that up. So now we'll go ahead and do the locating. Now we're going to start with the locating. We'll get the locator out of the box here. Pop opens up, hitting any button on the joystick will turn the unit on. It'll load, you'll notice the arrow to the right 
We'll go to the right on the joystick. And now we're going to look for a signal from the camera. Obviously, we're fairly close to here, so it's going to give me a strong signal. If I go this direction, signal goes down. This direction, signal goes down. Any, any direction I move away from the center area, the signal is going to go down. So I know that I've located, or at least got the general area of the camera off once I've located the area that gives me the stronger signal. I still don't know exactly where it's at, but I know approximately. So the next step we'll do is go to the right. Step two, it's going to ask me to walk in a circle around the area that I've just located the camera. So we're going to do that. And when I get directly in line with the camera, it's going to light up solid on the pipe. It's going to vibrate the handle, the little red light comes on. I'm going to mark that spot on the ground, and then I'm going to continue walking around. And again, when I get directly on the other side of the camera, it's going to give me the solid pipe again, and I'm going to mark that spot. We're going to go to the next right here. That's step number three. Now it's going to ask me to walk from one point to the other point, and we will get a reading of exactly where the camera's at. Okay, so once I'm directly on top of the camera, again, it vibrates. The sun in the pipe lights up solid. Now I know I'm directly over top of the camera. In this case, the camera's in the pipe right below me here. We're going to go to the next step to the right and just wait for it. There's nothing you have to do here and it will give you a depth reading. In this case, one feet four inches from the bottom of the locator. At this point, you're finished. Hit the right arrow and power off is down. And that's it.